that guy asked to see more of my god stuff. I like explaining stuff even if it's crazy and makes no real sense. I can, I'll can i just explain what I can. So I was mentioning my phone boxes and how they are ontology cages or ontology prisms. Prism, prison. Anyway, what's in my ontology cage? Well, there's my pocket watch, sunglasses, series, winning or losing lottery tickets. I scratched a few of them off. Okay, losing. Excellent. Now, you can't cut something off from the ontological flow of the universe because it would obviously stop fucking existing. But this is more like surrounding the ontology flows or damming each of them up with a little capacitor. So the stuff in these boxes still, of course, is being generated by the ontological flow of the universe, but essentially it's on the way to generating the reality of these things, some of the ontological flow is being dammed up and stored. And it also slows down the rate at which the reality generated by the flows changes with the overall flow of the universe being changed. So while I'm fucking around with my mirrors here, and this meal replacement shake, which I'm going to draw some symbols on, and then later drink after performing some operations, then I'll take it out, but it won't have kept up with the changes to the overall ontological flow of the universe, because it's in its little cage. It's, it's kind of partially walled away, like a leaky Faraday cage, if you will.